In this video, I show you how to convert a video to audio on your iPhone. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my iPhone and let's get right into this guide. So I want to go and convert these videos uh, to just audio files. So the first thing we need to do is close off the Photos app and actually go and open up an app called Shortcuts. You may have gone and deleted this app off your phone, but usually by default, it's on the second page. If you've gone and deleted it, don't worry. All you need to do is then open up the App Store and then go to the search page. And then you can just go and search shortcuts. And then you can scroll down and go and re-download it if you need to. And then go and open it up just like so. Then what you need to do is make sure you go and search shortcuts on the left hand side. And then what you need to do is go to the top right and go and tap on the plus button just like so, which is like a create button. So go and tap on it like this. Now, as you can see, we've gone and create a new shortcut. So the first thing you want to do is just go name this. To do that, go and tap on where it says new shortcut at the top like so, and then go and tap rename. And I'm just gonna go and name this converter like so. Uh, you can go and name it whatever you like, just make sure you sort of know what it is, and then go and press done. Then what you need to do is go to the bottom of the shortcuts app and go and tap on the information button in the middle, just like so. Uh, and what you want to do is go and enable show in share sheet like so, and then press done. Then what you need to do is where it says receive any is go and tap on any input just like so where it says any. And what you want to do is just press clear and where it says media, then just go and enable media. If you can't see the clear button, just manually unswitch them. There aren't that many to do and then go and press done. Then we need to go and press add action, type in encode. And as you can see, we've then got this option here for encode media. So we can then go and tap on it just like so. Now, what we need to do is go and tap on search for apps and actions again. Then you need to go and tap on that arrow, which is currently pointing right like so, and it's gonna go and expand this. And what we need to do is tap on audio only, go and enable that just like so, and that's that. Then what we need to do is go and tap on search for apps and actions again at the bottom to go and add another feature. And for this one, you just need to go and type in save and then go and tap on save file just like so. And here it is. And then go and expand this like so. And I recommend just having ask where to save enabled because then it's gonna ask you where you want to go and save the file and that's it. Then what we can do is go and press done like so and that's gonna save everything. Now you can go and close off the shortcuts app like this and then go and open up photos and go and find the video which you want to go and convert. So in this case, I'm gonna go and do this one here. So I'll quickly go and pause it. Then what you need to do is go and tap on the share button on the bottom left and then you'll be on this page here and what you need to do is scroll to the bottom. And as you can see, I've got this option for converter which is what I call the shortcut but you should have your shortcut name at the bottom. Go and tap on it like so. Then it will say preparing and in a minute, we're gonna go and get a pop-up uh, with sort of like a file explorer. As you can see, it's now running. And now what you need to do is go and choose where you want to go and save the audio file. So go and tap on browse again in the bottom right and then it'll open up your folders and you can go and choose where you want it. In this case, I'm just gonna press on my iPhone and then go and press open like so. Then as you can see, we go and get this tick. And if I go and open up my files app, and then tap on on my iPhone, which is where I saved it. As you can see, we then got this audio file here called IMG270, which is what the video is. I can play it back. As you see, that's eight seconds long. That's eight seconds as well, meaning they're exactly the same. So then you can go and do whatever you want with this audio file. You can go and tap on the share button in the bottom left and go and share it with people um, or go and use it. If you guys found this useful, please go down below and leave a like. Peace.